So, um, I've already imported the tail, already done all that good stuff. Um, so now that you've got your, you've got your Rex here, you're going to want to click the body so that it's outlined like, 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 bleh, like that. You're going to want to hit tab. And then you're going to want, you're going to hit P. And that'll, and select by material. And that's going to make it look like this. All you got to do is hit tab again. And it should bring you back to this. So for right now, we're going to hide the armature. We'll get back to that later. Um, you're going to want to select these. And you're going to want to hit tab. Now, getting these can be a little bit difficult. You're going to want to hold shift. Or you can go over here and hit select lasso. And now you can hold shift and have a you know, uh, general thing of where you want to go. And you also want to get underneath. Or you, well, to to select um, to select linked, you're gonna want you're gonna want to hit uh, shift and select these like so. And then you're gonna want to hit Control L, and that's gonna select linked all. And you're gonna want to go underneath as well. Hold Shift and do that and then hit control L again and do the same thing for over here though it's a little bit more trickier to get this hold shift go around it hit control L and there you go and now you're gonna want to hit delete vertices you may have to uh, select a few extras that you didn't get because it's not going to get all of them uh, hold shift Go around them and hit Control L, and then hit Delete vertices, and there you go. So now we're going to come out back out of uh, edit mode, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to click the body, and it's uh, it should look like this. We're going to hit um, we're going to hit Tab, and then we're going to go over here. Now, usually when you open up the rec scene, these these things and whatnot are broken, so just hit Delete for the UV editing. Hover over the UV editing and go down and hit delete. Um, and then go go to the little plus thing over here. Hit uh, go to general and then go over to UV editing. And it should open up another thing that it should look like this. Um, now it's going to be deselected by default. You're going to want to hit A. And now this should pop up. Now. If you select anything on here, if you select like a big majority, it's not going to show up on here. So what you want to do is you want to, while your while your uh, mesh still looks like this, you're going to want to go over here and click this button, and that's going to show um, UV sync. So it's going to keep the selection and whatnot of the U of the UVs and the um, the vertices in sync. So you can say go over here and click and like select part of the uh, thigh, and it's going to show up right here on the thigh. Um, so now you're going to want to go and for this tail, you're going to this this is this is this right here is usually the thing of the tail. So you're going to want to click it, and then you're going to hit Control L, and there you go. And you also want to go down here to this little part, this little thing right here, and just click that middle thing. That way that it gets all of it, because it's, yeah. So, now, while go, uh, hover your mouse back over here, and hit delete, and click vertices. And that's going to delete it. Now, you can fill this hole. It's a bit tricky to do, and it requires extra sculpting to make it look, you know, pretty. Um... But if you don't, if you, if you don't want to, the tail perfectly covers that, and then it, 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 it will be all right. So, you're going to now go down here. Well, now you're going to go back to the default tab. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select your body. It's going to look like this. You're going to want to hit A, and that's going to select all of them the main the part you selected you have to have something in a brighter orange and something in a, in, in a uh, darker orange and then you're gonna want to hit control well no 
uh, you're going to want to hit Control J, and that's going to join them under back under one mesh. So now we've got our. I'm going to unhide. You can import the armature, um, but I've already got it imported. Um, you're going to want to go to armature. If your bones are looking like this, you're going to want to go to this little icon. Go down to viewport display, and click in front. And there you go. And that should show you. That should show you how to. Uh, that should show your bones in front. So now uh, we're gonna the we're gonna select these, and we're gonna we're gonna hit we're gonna hold shift and uh, select the tail. And so now that you've got those selected, you're gonna want to hit J. And you're going to want to move your mouse a bit upward and hit the middle button. And that's going to be able to allow you to move it along, sorry, along the y-axis? Yes. Um, and you're going to want to move it, pose it to how you want or whatever position that you want it to be in. Um, so then, so, it, so it, once you've got it to look like this, you're going to, we're going to hide the armature of that we're going to hide the tail for a second and we're going to go back to this armature so now we're going once we've got it selected once it's now in orange we're going to want to hit tab that's going to bring us into edit mode and you want to select all of these bones that were connected to the tail because you won't need them and they're going to get in the way um this can be a little bit slow all you got to do is just hit the select box and do that and you should only have these plus that little one unless you still want the tail root because that that little bone right there this one is the tail root but if you don't uh, just hit this uh, select it and then hit delete and then bones and there you go so now that we're back over here now that we're gonna unhide this tail we're going to just select a random part, and we're going to hit A. That's going to select all of this, and we're going to hit Control A. And we're going to go, we're going to hit All Transforms. And that just basically updates the model's official position. Of So that if you try, if you don't do this, and you try to connect this part to the bones, it's going to reset to where it originally was. So now that we've got that we're going to we're going to select these bones and we're also going to select the main rex's bones and we're going to hit once once they look like that uh we're going to hit control j and now that should turn like this so they're technically connected but if you try to move these or you it's going to move it's not connected to the hip so what you want to do is you're going to want to you want to hit tab and then you're going to want to select, you have to do this like this, because if not, you're going to pair the hip to the tail. And that's not going to be good. Uh, you want it the other way around. You're going to want to hit tail one. And then you're going to want to uh, want to hold shift and hit uh, hips, which is this bone right here. And then once you've got them selected like that and they look like that, you're going to want to hit control P. And this is basically going to parent, uh, this is going to parent the hip bone, or the tailbone to the hip bone. Um, so you're going to want to hit keep offset, and now there should be a little dashed line. That means that this is connected, this is parented to that, so the, if this, bo this bone moves, all of these are going to move. Um, so now, and now you're going to want to hit tab and go back into object mode. So they're technically connected, but if you try to move these, they they're not going. The weight hasn't been transferred onto this armature yet. So what you want to do is you want to select the tail and then select the armature, and it should look like this. So you're gonna want to hit Control P, and you want to hit Armature Deform, and then to that it's, it's now it's connected and now it'll move. So now you want to select it just any random and any random part of the body. This is just to secure the the official model position. You're gonna want to hit any random part of the body. Hit A, so it should look like this, and then hit Control A, and apply all transforms again, and that basically secures it. And now 
Now it should be if you click on the armature and you go over here to pose mode, it will be um, well first you obviously have to hit pose position. Um, you have it. It will be now. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. The, this part's not gonna move because it's not been this. This mesh has not been joined, but it's a little bit more complicated. But it doesn't do with this. The way that it's looking right now does not do any difference to uh, how it looks in game. Um, so yes. But now that it's connected, now obviously if um, if you can move the hip bone and it moves like that, it's connected, and it will work perfectly and swish around in unity. And then you can sit there and play around with it, move the move the thing, the move the uh, legs and stuff how you want to. But for but it is, um, it is it is weight painted, it is rigged, and it is joined and ready to go.